All right, so uh, leaving Hong Kong, now let's go to Japan. Right? And our next speaker is Mr. Osamu Nakano, who represents the Japan, Japan Workers Cooperative Union. Nakano-san, okay, it's your time. Thanks. <coughs> All right, uh, nice to meet you, everyone. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty honored to be here and to talk about cooperative movement in Japan. And my name is Osamu Nakano. Uh, I'm board member and international relations officer, Japan Workers Cooperative Union. Japan Workers Cooperative Union, JWCU, is a national federation of workers cooperative in Japan. And also, I'm a member of, staff member of Japan Cooperative Alliance. Japan Cooperative Alliance, JCA, is apex organization of all cooperatives in Japan, including agriculture, consumer, finance, and health, and workers. And moreover, uh, I'm serving as visiting researcher at uh, Professor Mizuko Sissin Laboratory in Tokyo University. So this laboratory is working on communication theory and digital media theory and something like that. So today, I want to I wanna explain a little bit about uh, cooperative movement in Japan in general as a staff member of JCA. And then you know, I want to move on in you know, explanation of workers' cooperative movement in Japan as a, uh, as a member of JWCU. And finally, I want to explain a little bit about our research project in uh, Mizukose Laboratory. All right. <clears throat> Uh, so, however, you know, before that, I want to uh, a little bit explain, you know, uh, co what cooperative is. But I'm sure, you know, most of them already know. So, I want to explain very briefly, you know, co uh, fundamental, uh, fundamental, fundamental definition of cooperatives. As you know, cooperatives is an autonomous association of persons united voluntarily to meet their common economic and social and cultural needs and aspirations through a jointly owned and democratically controlled enterprises. And Cooperatives are based on the values of self-help and self-responsibility, democracy, equality, equity, and solidarity. In the tradition of their founders, cooperative, uh, cooperative members believe in the ethical values of honesty, openness, social responsibility, and caring for others. These uh, definition values are created by International Cooperative Alliance. In other words, you know, almost all, uh, all cooperatives belonging to International Cooperative Alliance, ICA, is following these uh, seven principles. Uh, first principle is voluntary and open membership. And second, uh, and democratic control, uh, member control. And third, member economic part participation. And fourth, autonomy and independence. And fifth, education, training, and information. And the sixth, cooperative, uh, cooperation among cooperatives. And seven, concern for communities. All right. And ICA, so as you know well, you know, uh, this is the biggest NGO in the world and international organization of cooperative movement. And I'm sure Mr. Ohm will explain a little bit more about uh, international cooperative movement. And however, you know, please keep in mind, you know, in, uh, ICA has a pretty large number of members. Almost one point billion uh, people are members of cooperatives belonging to ICA in the world. All right. And uh, I want to a little bit explain. Uh, I want to explain a little bit about uh, numbers, uh, number number of mem individual members in the world. And the country is the largest number of indi indi individual members is the United States with 256 million members. And the second uh, second is in Asia. It is India. Uh, with 90, uh, almost 93 uh, million individual members. And third is Japan, with 65 million individual members. And fourth largest, member, uh, largest number, number of members is in Iran, with almost 37 million indivi individual members. All in all, five of the top 10 countries by membership, which the ICA represents, are in Asia. In this regard, uh, in here in Asia, you know, cooperative movement is pretty, pretty strong. And moreover, you know, 300 largest uh, cooperatives had a combined annual turnover of 2.1 trillion US dollars in last year. So in this regard, you know, cooperatives has not only in, uh, not only in its membership, but also in their turnover, you know, cooperatives has a pretty big power. All right. So case of Japan. 
and the cooperative in Japan. So we have our, uh, over, uh, uh, as I already told you, you know, we we have our over six five million people as a members, and our turnover is over 145 billion US dollars per year. And uh, more, uh, so moreover, so please look, you know, right uh, right side. You know, almost 37% uh, uh, of all households in Japan uses the products and service of consumer cooperatives. And 25% of the total population has insurance provided by cooperatives in Japan. And 25 total deposit in Japan are held in cooperative banks. And moreover, Half of the total uh, output from uh, farming, forestry, and fisheries is sold through uh, cooperatives in Japan. So in this regard, cooperatives in Japan is also uh, pretty, pretty strong. And I want to uh, uh, explain a little bit more about cooperative movement in Japan. So these are logo of cooperatives in Japan. So generally speaking, most, uh, most of them or all of them are logos of National Federation of Cooperatives in Japan. Right. So for, uh, agricultural cooperatives, you know, uh, they, are, uh, they are called JEA, Japanese Agricultural Cooperative Groups. And agricultural cooperatives is the strong, uh, 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 most, strong, uh, most strong sector uh, in uh, cooperative movement in Japan. And as you can see, you know, they have our, uh, uh, six, uh, 660 uh, primary cooperatives, and their member is more than 10 million. And moreover, their marketing and sales price, 4.535 billion yen, and purchasing 2.608 billion yen. And moreover, uh, agricultural cooperative groups, you know, they have a bank uh, deposit. Actually, you know, they are running, you know, banking cooperatives. And they have a, uh, their deposit is uh, 96 trillion yen in total. So in this regard, uh, Jap uh, agricultural cooperative in Japan has uh, pretty much a strong economic, 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 economic power. And uh, incidentally, JA uh, agricultural cooperatives is also running, you know, health uh, insurance company, and their uh, publishing company, and their tsarist company, and hospital and care centers. Right. So uh, in Japan also there uh, you are know, fishery cooperatives and forestry cooperatives. As you can see, you know, these cooperatives are also pretty active in Japan. And the consumer cooperatives is also very strong in Japan. You know, their member is almost 29 million. And the, uh, and the number of primary cooperatives is 558.58. And then uh, consumer cooperatives in Japan, they are running, you know, purchasing cooperatives, uh, uh, of course, and they are also running health cooperatives and insurance cooperatives and housing cooperatives. And their turnover, uh, annual turnover is uh, 3.474 billion yen per, per year. And, and then, as, uh, I, as I already told, you know, their member household is 21 million. So in other words, uh, almost 40 percent of total household in Japan are using you know consumer cooperative products. All right. Okay. And uh, Jap uh, cooperatives also have you know small uh, uh, Japanese cooperatives also have small and medium-sized enterprise cooperatives and workers' cooperatives. I want to explain more about workers' cooperatives later. And the financial institution, these figures show you know, how, how much strong you know, uh, financial cooperatives and insurance cooperatives, uh, uh, how much they, uh, they are strong in Japan. So I don't have time to uh, explain in detail, so please look at that. All right, so in this, figure, uh, in this manner, you know, uh, Cooperative movement in Japan is very strong. So, however, you know, right now, you know, uh, right now, uh, Japanese government is thinking cooperative as a certain kind of obstacle to free market economy. So, in this regard, uh, Japanese government right now is attacking us. So, uh, so, in this regard, so we, you know, cooperators in Japan are thinking to cope with, you know, such a governmental pressure in order to establish a certain kind of apex organization of all cooperatives. 
So this Apex organization is called uh, Japan Cooperative Alliance, and we established uh, this uh, alliance, JCA, on this April. And the uh, member organization of JCA uh, uh, as follows. Uh, these, uh, these 17 organizations, all of them are ICA members, and all of them are uh, National Federation or uh, National Federation of Cooperative in Japan. And then JCA is trying to do, uh, trying to promote, uh, actually we have, uh, JCA have uh, three major functions and we are trying to promote you know, uh, collaboration among cooperatives. And second, we are trying to make uh, policy proposals and uh, engage in public relation activities. And third, we are trying to provide education, training program, and uh, uh, cooperative research project. Right. So work as cooperative in Japan. So JWCU, my organization, is National, Cent uh, National Center, National Federation of Workers Cooperative in Japan. And we actually, we have our, uh, 13, uh, 13,000 working members in J throughout Japan. And the member organization is 20, uh, 25. So this is uh, pretty, uh, this is, uh, in, a in a certain sense, this is a small number. So however, you know, in Japan, so there is a, a central worker cooperatives. This is primary cooperatives, so however, very big. And uh, this uh, central worker cooperatives in itself has uh, almost uh, 7,000 members. And then these central workers cooperatives have 15 branches throughout Japan from uh, southern part and northern part. So in this regard, these central workers cooperatives is a certain kind of driving force of workers cooperative movement in Japan. All right. This is a town over uh, of JWCU in the last year. So we have uh, almost 335 million US dollars per year. And uh, business field, I want to explain bus our business field. So generally speaking, you know, workers cooperative in Japan is working on you know, care service, elderly care, child care, and care and support for people with disabilities. And also we are providing you know, uh, care and support for youth. So right now in Japan, there are so many youth who has you know, certain kind of social, social difficulties or social disabilities. So in this regard, so JWCU or Workers Cooperative in Japan, we are trying to provide you know, supporting service for you know, such a use. Okay, so Workers Cooperative is also running uh, uh, public uh, cleaning service and public service. Okay, so uh, we, uh, Workers Cooperative in Japan, uh, think, uh, defining our working style as the so-called associated work. And associated work, I'm sorry, associated work is totally different from the so-called employed work. Employed work means working style in you know, uh, private companies. And as you can see, you know, em uh, in employed work, you know, uh, management and investment and working, you know, they are totally split. So however, in associated work, you know, one single member uh, can do everything, uh, working, management, and their uh, capital contribution. So this is a fundamental char characteristic associated work. In other words, a fundamental character of uh, working style of uh, workers cooperative in Japan. Okay. All right, so uh, actually, you know, I wanna explain you know, some specific example of workers cooperative, so however, I don't have the time. So I, I have to move to our research project in Japan. All right, so, uh, we, we are doing this kind of research project in, in Tokyo University right now. So context, crucial point is how to promote general people's uh, critical awareness about media infra infrastructure. So, that's uh, so we are doing, uh, we are doing this, uh, we are having this kind of uh, context and crucial point is because as you know well, you know, in media infrastructure is often ignored or is hided. So in other words, you know, general, uh, general public doesn't care about you know, what kind of I infrastructure they are using. So this is a pretty crucial context we are thinking. All right, so our mission is uh, building a new theory of uh, infra literacy from contents to infra infrastructure. So as you know, so we are, uh, we are understanding you know, this infrastructure means in you know, a certain kind of platform. And we are also developing running programs and tools and workshop style activities for a variety of people. 
and uh, our activities, interdisciplinary and socially engaged research project. This research project is funded uh, for three years by Ministry of Education in Japan. And also this research project uh, will be conducted by University of Tokyo and co-generated by cooperatives, uh, cooperatives in Japan, platform industries and neighborhoods. Neighborhoods means, you know, people in local communities. All right, so we are also planning I'm sorry. So we are also planning a running program and toolbox for everyone, including nationwide corpse people. So, okay, I will finish. And we have uh, several type of workshops. And the first workshop is Let's Read the Times of Service Out Loud. This workshop is, a goal of this workshop is to understand critically our use of internet service are based on mutual agreements between the user and service pro providers. This fight, uh, fact is uh, often ignored and the procedure of workshops, please read. All right. And second workshop is recognize behavior tracking by platform workshop. And the goal of this workshop to recognize, is to recognize how much your behavior or privacy are known by platforms by confirming stored data of daily use applications. And the flow of the workshop is this. So please read uh, this kind of procedure. Uh, so actually, you know, in these workshops, so we are using you know, Google application. All right, so final, a final workshop is that. So uh, media landscape without gaffer. So actually, you know, the goal of the workshop is to get the ability to imagine alternative media landscapes with more cooperative digital platforms. And actually, I, can, I cannot pronounce this in Chinese. So I'm sorry, but the mission of, the, of this workshop is that, so if, for instance, if the Apple had vanished from our planet and the iPhone had not launched in 2007, what kind of media landscape we have today? So this is, uh, you know, uh, example of our questions. And then, so we are trying to imagine, investigate, collaborate, and make scenarios. So uh, according to, uh, in, in order to answer, you know, this kind of question. All right, so these, uh, these are projects uh, which are, we are doing in you know, uh, laboratory at Tokyo University. So in this regard, in Japan, so we have a you know, rich cooperative movement, including agriculture, consumer, fishery, forestry workers. And moreover, uh, in particular, workers' cooperative movement in Japan is very, very active. And uh, workers' cooperative in Japan, so we are actually, we are hiring or we are having so many members uh, so many people who, so many people with uh, mental disabilities and various kinds of dis uh, disabilities as uh, working members. And finally, so uh, in Japan, uh, some uh, intellectuals and professors are trying, uh, are beginning to discuss or introduce you know, platform technologies into cooperative movement. All right, so this is an uh, ongoing situation of cooperatives and platform cooperatives uh, in Japan. Thank you, uh, thank you very much for listening. Thanks a lot, Osamu. Sorry you had to rush. It's so rich, okay? And so many things are happening in Japan that I do not know. I would encourage people to talk to Osamu about uh, the very interesting case studies, okay, that uh, he, did, he had to uh, go through fast.